So I want to introduce you to the Quantopian platform. This is quite a bit different than most of the retail trading platforms that you may be used to. It's Quantopian.com. And you code in Python and you can get an allocation where you get 10% of the profits. So you basically uh, have your algorithm, you run a back test, and, from, and once you run a back test, you enter the contest and they wait six months. They run the back test again, and then if they like it, they'll allocate a million or more, a million dollars or more, and you get 10% of profits. And so, pretty interesting. It's something new to me. It's in Python, and we talk about our strategy this week, Counter Trend Max. Here it is. Here's what some of the code looks like. Um, this is Counter Trend Max, and right now what we're going to be testing is the just the S&P. You can add symbols to test. One of the things I like about this is it allows you to test a long list of symbols over one strategy, and you can see it from a portfolio perspective. So right now we're going to just test the S&P, then we're going to come back and test the E-mini NASDAQ, E-mini Dow, and you can see the difference in those. And you set it up, I've just set it up for 2017, um, it takes a while to run this back test, put in uh, $10,000 just for the S&P. $10,000 per market traded is what I have it set up to do manually. And so I'm going to run the full back test, and then you can see the results. So once you click on this, you will get this window. Um, and this is part of what, I'm, what I want to share with you is the uh, counter trend max, the open code, is you get the Python code, the, the C sharp, the easy language. And so you can compare all these uh, strategies um, if you're if you're learning how to program in different algorithms and you want to um, code and you want to compete in contests, um, it's a new strategy, so I'm willing to do that. And I'm just testing it out, and I want to see what 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 the results will be. But I want to pause this video because I don't want to take the whole time. And for this, um, I'm not going to let this run the whole time. So I'm going to show you the results. So here we are, part way through the test, and I will pause the video again for the end of the test. So here is the test for the ES. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to run it on the ES, the e -mini NASDAQ, and the e -mini DAO. To do that, I can go into the code and simply change the code to include the S&P, the NASDAQ, and the e -mini DAO. There's some stop loss settings for each that are point values that represent dollar values for stop loss and profit target. And then I'm going to run the full back test. Actually, I want to go back and change. I want to change this number to 30,000. So now we're trading E mini SP, E mini NASDAQ, E mini Dow. We're trading one contract of each. Uh, you could use less capital, but um, conservatively, one contract per 10,000 is what we're showing here um, to compare it against the benchmarks. So I'm going to run the full back test. And we'll take a look at the results here as they form. And then at the end, we'll, I'll pause the video and then we'll um, take a look at it at the end. I want to get the trades going. No trades yet. See 0% total returns. So there's the first trade. And I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back to this. So here's the back test so far. 20, about 20% 20 into the back test.